some bad news to uh, report. I got some very bad news. Um, I've been holding it back. And I've been extra busy lately because it's been on my mind a lot. My brother passed away on March 8th, and I didn't know about it. He was on his deck. Lucky he wasn't there long, and a neighbor found him. I don't know if he's been taking his oxygen or not. But my brother Al passed away on March 8th. I didn't know it for a couple of weeks afterwards. I talked to my sister and uh, had found out, and I was rather shocked. Not only did he die, but his ashes was already sent to my sister, which I was a little upset with her that I didn't even know about it. You know what? I was talking to him that same day, the same day, and he had a friend visiting him, and he sounded fine. It must have been sometime after his friend left and after the phone call. Yeah, I've been kind of... I'm, I'm starting to get emotional here. I, I'm kind of spazzed out about this. I called my brother every couple of days, and what happened was I was calling him up for over a week, and he wasn't answering. That's not like him. I thought maybe he's just not in the mood to talk to anybody, depressed, you know, all his health conditions and all that. And uh, anyway, uh, I, something was wrong, and I, I left a note for my daughter to call my sister or something, or I finally called her and found out what really went on. Cause actually, a friend of his came by and wrote me. That's how I knew something was wrong, because someone came by to see me. She said, I don't understand. Something's not right. I don't see anything there. So I did check into it, and I talked to my sister. She stopped me after I'm starting to pose a lot of questions to her. And Frankie, Al died on March 8th. I said, what? Oh, fuck. I didn't know. I don't know why she didn't contact me somehow. Me and my sister don't get along, but she could have found a way to contact me. So all these problems are over. And my brother had a lot of problems. And uh, probably the reason we didn't get along, I think he had an accident over 30 years ago. I think his temporal lobe was pretty fucked up. It would make him moody, or not thinking clearly. Uh, I think his moods were affected from that because he had a big gash on his head. And I think they did do x-rays and all that, did say something about his temporal lobe. But my brother did pass away on March 8th, and I've been, you know, trying to hide it emotionally with my viewers the best I can. And, uh, I mean, I loved my brother. You know, we didn't get along a lot, a lot of differences and all that but I'd always call him every couple of days see how he's doing and uh, so he's gone and I'm kind of freaked I'm still kind of freaked out about it to be honest with you now my brother was a good guy he uh, just had a lot of problems you know and a lot of them that he created on his own and uh, you know got out of control and tried to give him the best advice that I could but you know he was not a person he meant well to take my advice and sometimes he did but you know I think and we don't have the autopsy yet. My, my sister's still waiting to get the autopsy report to find out exactly what killed him. Probably he wasn't taking enough oxygen. He's supposed to be on the oxygen all the time, but he wasn't always. And who knows if he fucked up his medicines, you know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I've been very emotional lately, and I've been trying to hide it, but doing a lot of shows to get my mind off it. I knew his time was coming, but I, I, I just didn't know when and he made it to his 72nd birthday but i, I knew that uh i knew what's going to happen so his dog is uh i guess being taken care of by the neighbor and uh i love rowdy if i lived closer i'd take rowdy in rowdy's up there at age i'm surprised even rowdy's living that long to tell you the truth you know that's another reason why i've been doing a lot of shows because i've been trying to get my mind off this i was very reluctant to uh say anything about it especially on here you know they did some really crude thing crude things with my family members and stuff and you know but that's their thing you know so that's why i've been doing a lot of shows to tell you the truth kind of get my mind off the uh, situation and all that you know i didn't have a chance to say goodbye or anything to him and that's kind of bothers me a lot so uh you know when you're gone you're gone man that's it you know we're all gonna go sometime but Hopefully not the way he went. I mean, with all his various health conditions, from diabetes to high blood pressure. He even had, I think, still had, even though he was treated decades ago for um, hepatitis of the liver and stuff. He had a lot of things going on. He had to count all the damn things going on. He had plenty. And I'm totally surprised that he made it to his 72nd birthday, to tell you the truth on this. Because he's a tough guy, I'll tell you that. I couldn't survive the things that he went through. So I got to give him credit for that. He's, he's a tough guy. He was a tough old bird. He really was. So, just been controlling my emotions. Otherwise, I'd be jumping over everybody, and I really haven't been jumping over. Just the other day, I said something about my viewers. They weren't donating to my Gcash, and I'm doing so much work for people against somebody, and I was doing all the work and taking all the burden on my shoulders. And So I kind of lashed out at my viewers the other day in a way, and I just said, you know, I'm not your sheriff and everything else. You guys could have helped a little bit if you wanted to 
helped me bring this in the direction that I wanted to. So nobody, I've only had a few people donate. I've had a couple of generous donations actually recently from somebody, which I really appreciate. And they know I do. But um, yeah, I, you know, I've been wanting to jump on a few people on here. Trust me when I tell you, but I didn't, I didn't go that direction. So I figured I'd just do a lot of shows. Yeah. That's kind of how I'm dealing with it. That's how I deal with some stuff. I want to get my mind off something, you know, and I'd rather talk about a lot of different shit. And so I'm still very affected by it right now. Very much so. I mean, you want to at least say goodbye to somebody, you know, and what makes me feel even worse is that he died alone. His friend Rick was visiting him that same day. I talked to him the same goddamn day. He sounded like he was doing fine. It was sometime after that because it was March 8th. Well, actually, it would be the, well, it'd be the 8th over there. Well, the seventh here, I think. And he sounded fine. And the sad thing about it, you know, I talk about loneliness here all the time on my show. And, uh, you know, he had friends that have visited him now and then, but not on any regularity. He didn't have too many people to talk to on the phone other than his son and whoever else, but, and been me too. But there was nobody by his side when he, when he passed on. And that's what makes me very emotional. I knew it was going to happen sometime, but I, that's what makes me very emotional about it because that's why I'm so happy that I'm in a relationship, you know, and a good one.